Okay, so my hypothesis is when this obstetric dilemma kicked in, and I put it between two and a half to three million years ago, that uh, hominid mothers who before you didn't have to worry about carrying their babies did what we do, which is when they had to do something, go foraging, dig something up, pick something, they set their babies down. Not that they stashed, stashed them somewhere else, but they set them down right there. Uh, babies don't like to be set down. You know that if you have one. And chimp babies don't like it. They don't get set down very often. But once in a while, they'll fall, fall off. And they don't like it at all. I think at that point um, it was the beginning of the evolution of mother ease. And it did have to evolve. It had to emerge because non-human primates, they, may have con they do have contact calls if there's a separation between mother and infant. But nobody does this incessant kind of stylized baby talk the way humans did. So we do have to, or it did evolve, and it's interesting to ask when, and, I, and to me it seems uh, reasonable to suggest it had to do with this obstetric dilemma. And as Dr. Lieberman said, it's always good if you can get someone else, though, to um, help carry your baby. These are Hasda boys carrying um, young children. And Frank Marlowe, who's worked on the Hasta, has told me that indeed women there, when they go off um, foraging, will carry their nursing babies um, on their backs in these kind of slings, and that a number of them would, some of them just left them on the back, but a number of them would put down the sling and put the baby right there. So I call this a uh, putting the baby down hypothesis. And um, Mother ease today is very pleasing to infants. They love it. It reassures them that mommy is near. Eventually, as they mature more, parents start to use it to be instructive. No, don't go by that light, uh, near that light socket, that kind of thing. And then eventually, semantics through context. 